Hey everyone, a raging river with rushing water is obviously dangerous, but even calm, serene, slow-moving rivers can be dangerous. You can't always judge a river by the surface of its water. Some of the most dangerous rivers in the world look relatively harmless on the surface, but aggressive reptiles, toxic waters, hidden tunnels, or violent undercurrents, the rivers in this video all have one thing in common. They're deadly. So join me for today's video because we're going to take a look at the top 15 most dangerous rivers in the world. Number 15. The River Wharf The River Wharf is easily one of the most dangerous rivers in the world, so much so it has a reputation of swallowing people whole. Now, it might not look like much at first glance, but rest assured this river is not something you want to find yourself in. This river rages its way through Yorkshire, England, and although it's not one of the biggest, deepest, or longest rivers on the planet, it's definitely one of the fastest. There's a stretch of the river between Barden Tower and Bolton Abbey. The stretch is only six feet across, but because it's so narrow, it allows for the water to gain an incredible speed. Furthermore, the width of the river is an illusion because the banks of the river are undercut, and beneath the banks are a series of treacherous tunnels. Men, women, and children have fallen prey to the river's tunnels, and they've been sucked underneath and were never seen again. Number 14. The Chennai Timpichka River The Chennai Timpichka River has a unique claim to fame when it comes to dangerous rivers. It's steaming hot, also known as the Boiling River or La Bomba. It's the only river of its kind in the world. The river is only 6.4 kilometers long, but its waters can reach temperatures that exceed 200 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hot enough to give you third-degree burns. This river is deep in the jungles of Peru, and until recently, it was widely believed that the Boiling River was only a myth, to Westerners anyway. Turns out that the Ashaninka indigenous community have always known about the river, but tried to keep it a secret because it was sacred to them. They used the river for rituals and didn't want anyone infringing on their sacred river. But the cat's out of the bag now and the river is public knowledge. So needless to say, you don't want to get too close to this one. It's hot enough to steep tea, boil small animals, and send you straight to the emergency room for some serious skin grafting. Number 13. The Congo River Formerly known as the Zaire River, the Congo River is the second longest river in Africa and is part of the ninth longest river system in the world. The river is often called the Heart of Darkness because of its perils, but that's not its real claim to fame. The Congo River is the deepest river in the world with a maximum depth of 720 feet. The river descends so far down that not even light can penetrate down there. And this river is a popular transportation route in Africa, and many people use it to transport goods. But the upper section of the Congo is plagued with tributaries and rapids, both of which pose a threat to river travelers. And the lower section is known for its waterfalls and gorges. But most famously, a 75-mile-long canyon section, which is called the Gates of Hell. This canyon is full of impassable rapids and earned its name rightfully. Any river that has the word hell in it is likely not a river you want to challenge. Number 12. Rio Tinto Truth be told, the Rio Tinto is a pretty cool-looking river. It boasts a bright red hue, a little akin to human blood. But as cool as it looks, the Rio Tinto is not to be tampered with. The Rio Tinto is located in Spain. It's got a length of 62 miles. The Spanish name literally translates to Red River, which is fitting given its color. But the color of the waters comes from its high acidity levels and unusual concentration of heavy metals. These metals in the river, copper, iron, silver, and gold, were once a major attraction for miners. The area was mined extensively, and the Rio Tinto is believed by some to be the fabled mine of King Solomon. People came to the banks of the river to mine, and in the process, they ruined the environment around the river. Acid mine drainage from the mines around the river dissolved the heavy metals in the river right into the water. And as such, this water is not safe. They are very toxic. So toxic, you can't find any fish in this river, and you won't find any birds on the banks quenching their thirst. The birds know well enough that they'll die if they drink the water. So that should be your first clue that this river is not fit for swimming. Number 11. The Tarcoles The Tarcoles is in Costa Rica, and it has one very specific danger, crocodiles. The 69-mile-long river is the most crocodile-laden river in the world. It's believed that there are more than 2,000 crocodiles living in there, and that would mean that there's roughly 63 crocodiles per square mile. Now, the crocs in the river aren't the most dangerous crocs in the world per se, but they are one of the largest. They are American crocodiles, and they grow to lengths of about 20 feet and can weigh upwards of 2,000 pounds. 
They're not known for being super aggressive, but the sheer size of them is enough to deter anyone from swimming in the water. And luckily, you don't have to get too close to the edge of the river to see the crocs. There's a bridge for that. The famous Costa Rica Crocodile Bridge is a popular tourist destination. In fact, it's so popular that there are souvenir stores, restaurants, and even ice cream shops. The bridge has got a pedestrian barrier so people can walk onto the bridge and peer down at the crocodiles below. The bridge comes with some warnings, though. People are advised against hanging off the bridge, climbing over the railing, or feeding the crocs from the bridge. So basically stay in the designated area and look at the river from a safe distance. Yeah, that's good advice. Number 10. The Mississippi The Mississippi River may look calm and tranquil in places, but never trust a river by its surface appearance. The Mississippi is the third largest river basin in the world, and at its widest points, it's a staggering 11 miles across. Historically, the river played a vital role in the industrialization of the United States. Today, it's a source of hydroelectric energy, provides drinking water to millions of people, and is home to a lot of important fish species. In fact, the Mississippi is home to 25% of all of North American fish species, including catfish, sturgeon, pike, gar, and carps. And while the river boasts a lot of cultural, environmental, and historical significance, it has a dark side that's often overlooked. The river is dangerous. The Mississippi River has some pretty significant undercurrents that can easily pull down even the strongest and most experienced swimmers. At an area of the river near New Orleans, the flow rate is at 600,000 cubic feet per second. This is one of the river's strongest flow rates, and these flow rates vary widely along the river. But with some flow rates like that, it's no wonder that the river is deemed dangerous. The Mississippi is the longest river in North America, and it winds its way through several states, so the dangers are different in different places. But overall, the current is enough to deter swimmers. And even with a life jacket on, the river is still dangerous, as the currents have been known to slam people into boats, docks, trees, and other debris. And the river does have a lot of debris in it, so if you find yourself in the clutches of a current, you won't be able to navigate yourself around the debris. And when I say debris, I'm talking about big debris, like old steamboats, giant logs, and even cars. For those reasons, the Mississippi River is not an ideal river for swimming. Number 9. The Yangtze River Sometimes a river's danger is not the river itself, but rather in what happens when a river swells over its riverbanks. I'm talking about a mass flooding here, and when it comes to flooding, few rivers can rival the destructive floods that the Yangtze River has caused. Measuring in at 4,000 miles long, the Yangtze River in Asia is the longest on its continent and the third longest river in the world. It acts as sort of a natural divide between South China and North China, and it flows into the East China Sea. There are a lot of cities along the banks of the Yangtze River, including Chongqing and Shanghai. And while the river has become extremely polluted over the years, and its pollution poses a threat in and of itself, the real danger of the Yangtze River is in its potential to flood massive regions that are highly populated. For this reason, the massive Three Gorges Dam, the largest hydroelectric dam in the world, was constructed to help mitigate the flood risks. China has been plagued with floods over the past hundred years. One of the deadliest happened in 1931 and killed around two million people. But another flood in 1998 came with a catastrophic price tag for damages. It caused more than $20 billion worth of damages to surrounding areas. The flood was caused by an above average rainfall and it decimated the farmlands and homes around the river where the flooding happened. And given the Yangtze's penchant for flooding, many people fear that the river will overflow its capacity and flood again. Number 8. The Red River The Red River stretches out at 1,360 miles long in the United States, and although it looks lovely from an aerial view with its stunning red hue, the river itself is known for strong undercurrents and violent whirlpools. Having a deep red okra color, the river runs through New Mexico, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, and Oklahoma. Interestingly, the Red River was once a tributary of the famous Mississippi, but it's now a tributary of the Atchafalaya River. The river has a massive watershed that covers 65,000 square miles. There have been lots of dams built along this river's tributaries for flood control, so flooding isn't the real threat of the Red River. The river is dangerous because of its currents, undercurrents, and whirlpools. The river's got currents that are very unpredictable and that are known to change without any warning. The river's strong undercurrents often combine together to form whirlpools that can trap unsuspecting people. It's not technically illegal to swim in this river, but there are drownings in the river every year, as well as calls for rescue operations. 
Part of the problem is that the surface often looks really calm, but underwater the surface is moving a lot more quickly than meets the eye. Plus, there's a lot of debris in the river that people can get entangled in or injured in if they strike it. Basically, the Red River is deceptive, which is why it's not the best place for swimming. Number 7. The Kern River A lot of rivers are dangerous because of the deadly animals that lurk beneath the surface of the water. Other rivers pose a threat to surrounding areas because they're so prone to flooding, and some are dangerous because they're so polluted that it could literally kill anyone who imbibed it. But sometimes a river's danger lies in the river's raging waters, and that's the case with the Kern River. The Kern River is located in California in the United States, and it's got a length of 164 miles. It's not very long, but it is fierce. The river is fed by snow atop the Sierra Nevada mountains, so the water level in the river is pretty high. The high water level, along with its very fast currents, have claimed the lives of a lot of people. In fact, since 2000, 96 people have died in the Kern River, making it not just one of the most dangerous rivers in the United States, but one of the most dangerous bodies of water. It's also pretty deceptive, since not only areas in the river are that dangerous. The problem is, though, it's hard to tell which areas are. And while some deaths have happened while people were swimming in the river, some deaths have happened while people were simply walking alongside the river. There are areas that have smooth granite stones and people have slipped and fallen into the water. The sheer volume and deaths at the Kern River has caused authorities to start issuing warnings to the public about this treacherous river. It's also earned the Kern River the nickname, the Killer Kern. Number 6. The Yellow River Some people equate the color yellow with happiness. It is, after all, the color of the sun, at least in pictures. But the Yellow River is not a happy place for those who have lost their lives in it. The Yellow River in China is also known as the River of Sorrow, so that should be your first clue that this river is dangerous. The Yellow River, or Huanghe, has a lovely yellow hue, which attracts tourists and locals who come to photograph the river's unusual waters. But photographers be warned, you best snap those pics from a distance, because this river is deadly. It's the third longest river in Asia and the sixth longest river system in the world. Its waters are known for ruthlessly changing course. In fact, the river has changed its course 26 times, causing more than 1,500 floods over time and taking millions of lives. These floods have also wreaked havoc on crops, causing mass food shortages, and should anyone get a little too close and accidentally fall in, it's highly probable that the body will never be found. The currents are too strong to swim through, and like a lot of rivers today, the river is very polluted. Sewage and factory discharges have been dumped into the Yellow River, so much so that the Yellow River has been deemed unusable. Sadly, though, some communities have no choice but to rely on the river, and in doing so, they're exposing themselves to these polluted waters. Number 5. Zambezi River At a length of 1,600 miles, the Zambezi River is a force to be reckoned with. The river runs through Angola, Botswana, Mozambique, Namibia, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. It has a lethal combination of all things river dangerous. It's got fast rapids, strong undercurrents, and deadly animals. For this reason, some people claim that the Zambezi River is the most dangerous in the world, although there aren't really any concrete guidelines to give it an official title. The river has very fast currents and strong rapids that have overturned many a boat. Beneath the waters are very sharp stones, so anyone who's thrown into the river from an overturned boat faces both fast currents and menacing rocks. Should someone be lucky enough to beat the currents, survive the rapids, and avoid the rocks, they could still find themselves face-to-face -face with any one of the river's dangerous animals, like crocodiles, hippos, and bull sharks, just to name a few. There is a positive side to this dangerous river, though. The Zambezi River is home to the stunning Victoria Falls, which is the largest waterfall in the world. So although the river threatens any human life that comes into contact with it, at least it has one redeemable quality. The waterfall is really pretty. Number 4. Brisbane River Brisbane is undoubtedly a beautiful city to visit. Boasting beautiful beaches, azure waters, and a bustling nightlife, Brisbane is on many a bucket list. And while the beaches get all the credit when it comes to Brisbane's beauty, the Brisbane River is a lovely sight as well. In fact, many believe that the Brisbane River adds to the beauty of this famous Australian city. But like so many things in life, looks can be deceiving. The river looks like it would be a lovely place to take a dip. This is not the case, though. As beautiful as this river is, swimming in the river is not advisable. 
There have been a lot of drownings in this river, so authorities caution people against taking a plunge in its waters. But drownings aside, the river has another dangerous present in its waters. The river is also home to a large number of bull sharks. These bull sharks have taken up residence in the river and they show no signs of leaving. So yes, yeah, swimming in a river that's known for both drowning and bull sharks waiting to take a bite out of you is probably not the best idea. So how many sharks does it take to deem a river dangerous? Well, it's estimated that there are around 500 bull sharks living in the Brisbane River. Yeah, I'd call that enough. Furthermore, bull sharks are known for being very aggressive and have attacked people for no apparent reason. They are one of the more violent sharks out there, so the bull shark infested Brisbane River is probably best admired from the safety of its banks, unless you want to get up close and personal with the bull shark that is. Number 3. The Amazon River we all know about some of the strange and otherworldly things that creep and crawl their way around in the Amazon. Supersized bugs, larger than life lily pads, deadly spiders, and snakes. So it should come as no surprise that the river that bears the same name is just as wild as the jungle itself. The iconic Amazon River is located in South America and it's commonly called the second largest river in the world after the Nile. However, when looking at the actual volume of the two rivers, the Amazon River reigns supreme. This river is home to a plethora of nightmarish and dangerous animals and reptiles. Bull sharks and anacondas swim their way through the Amazon's murky waters. You'll also find the black caiman crocodile in the Amazon, which can grow to be 16 feet long and has no natural predators. So this croc is not afraid of you. It's used to ruling supreme and it won't hold back if it feels threatened, or hungry, or bored. But wait, there's more. The Amazon River is riddled with piranhas, and these frightening little fish have some pretty razor-sharp teeth. There are also electric eels in the waters, and they can give off as much as 600 volts of electricity. And if everything mentioned so far isn't enough to give you nightmares, then just take a look at the Brazilian wandering spider. This spider wanders around the Amazon's banks just waiting to attack anyone who crosses its path. And should you be so unlucky as to come across one of these spiders, you best seek medical attention stat. The spider's venom can kill you in about 25 minutes if not treated. And last but not least, the Amazon River is home to the longest venomous snakes in the Western Hemisphere, the Bushmaster Pit Viper. This is not a snake you want to cross in real life. To say it's massive is an understatement. Needless to say, the Amazon River is not a place to take a refreshing, leisurely dip. Not if you value your life. Number 2. The Nile You've likely heard of the Nile River before. It is one of the most famous rivers in the world. Its fame comes in part from ancient civilizations. It was a crucial means of transportation, too. It's also well known for its association with Cleopatra, who was often called the Queen of the Nile. But it's not just a river for the history books. The river is still very famous today. The Nile is the longest river in the world. It runs through 11 different countries before it finally drains out into the Mediterranean Sea. As such, it's been essential to the development, expansion, and well-being of people for thousands of years, so much so that it would be impossible to list all the triumphs the Nile has in this video. But as celebrated as the Nile is throughout history, the Nile has a dark side. Lurking just below the surface of the Nile's waters are a number of vicious and very real threats. There are crocodiles in the Nile, and they can travel at speeds of up to 30 miles an hour on land when they decide to leave their hiding place in the river. They're known to strike people, and these crocodiles are responsible for as many as 200 deaths annually. There are also hippopotamuses in the river. Hippos, although cute from a distance, are extremely aggressive. They've been known to full-on attack boats as they pass by, and along with hippos and crocs galore, the Nile also has slithering venomous snakes. Most notably are the black mambas and Egyptian cobras, both of whom pack a painful, venomous bite. But where some good things come in small packages, so does one of the Nile's greatest threats, the lowly mosquito. Don't let the size of this Nile threat fool you. Mosquitoes are one of the most dangerous features of the Nile. They carry diseases like malaria and the West Nile virus, and they congregate all over and around this world-famous river. Some sources state that the mosquitoes on the Nile make around 500 million people sick each year. And of those half a billion people, thousands die from the mosquitoes' deadly diseases. So sometimes it's not just the raging waters of the river itself that pose the most threat, but the creatures and insects that call that river home. Number 1. The Sitarum River 
Fair warning, pictures of the Sitarum River are so surreal you might not believe what you're seeing. This river is located in Indonesia and it's 170 miles long. As you can see from pictures, the river's danger is pretty obvious. It's the most polluted river in the world. The river was once a life source for animals, plants, and people, but today this polluted river poses a very real threat to surrounding communities, as well as to all the fauna and flora in the area. The pollution comes from textile factories. They've simply been dumping their industrial and chemical runoff right into the river. Runoff is laden with toxic dyes as well as poisonous chemicals like mercury and arsenic. But that's not the only source of pollution. The Sitarum River has also become a landfill for a lot of communities that live along its banks. It's literally a dumping ground for copious amounts of human waste. During the rainy season, all that trash clogs the drainage systems, causing the river to flood in the towns. The Sitarum River might lack the wild rapids and strong currents that other dangerous rivers have, and it might not be home to deadly animals and reptiles, but the Sitarum River is very dangerous in its own right and is a testament to what can happen when we blatantly disregard the health of our rivers. No river should ever be deemed dangerous because of pollution, but here we are. The Sitarum River is in the top spot on this list of the top 15 most dangerous rivers. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.